In this video, I will be talking about modulus and I will be explaining to you how to solve questions involving modulus. So the modulus of a number is the magnitude of that number without a sign attached, where sign refers to either the positive or negative sign attached to that variable. Modulus is denoted as two straight lines. So for example, if you were to take the modulus of the number four, we would write two straight lines or two vertical lines on either side of it. Now the modulus of four would be equal to four. And this is because as we can see this variable from beforehand has no signs attached. So we simply rewrite it with no signs attached. However, if we were to take the modulus of negative four, we would also write it as four because once again, we are writing the variable that's inside of the modulus without the negative sign attached. So let's look at a few more very basic and similar examples. If we were to take the modulus of the number five, we would simply write that it is equal to five because from beforehand, there is no sign attached. If we were to take the modulus of negative five, we would also write that that is equal to five because it initially has a negative sign attached and we are rewriting it with no sign attached. If we want to take the modulus of negative 2000, we would simply write that as 2000 because once again, we are writing it without the sign attached. So we can basically think of modulus as the positive version of a number. So if it's already positive, then we keep it that way. And if it is negative, then we make it positive. We can also refer to modulus as absolute value. And it's just another way of saying the exact same thing. Okay, so now let's look at what happens when we take the absolute value or the modulus of an equation or a function rather than taking it of a single number. Let's take the example of the function of x is equal to the modulus or the absolute value of 2x plus 1. So here we are taking the absolute value of the expression 2x plus 1. Now we already know that absolute value or modulus is basically like taking the positive version of a number. So from that we can infer that the absolute value or the modulus of a number will never be less than zero. So it will never be negative. Therefore, we can say that the function of x is always either greater than or equal to zero. So first, let's try inputting negative two. So we take the function of negative two. First, what we want to do is solve the equation inside of the absolute value. So we'll write that this is equal to the absolute value of two times negative two plus one, which is equal to negative four plus one, or the absolute value of negative four plus one, which is equal to the absolute value of negative three. And this is equal to three because we are removing the sign or taking the positive version of that number. Now let's look at the function of negative five. So taking negative five as our input, this is equal to the absolute value of two times negative five plus one, which is equal to the absolute value of negative 10 plus one, which is equal to negative, the absolute value of negative nine, which is equal to nine. Since once again, we are removing, we are rewriting it without a sign. So our next example is of the function of two. So you write this as the absolute value of two times two plus one, which is equal to four plus one, or the absolute value of four plus one, which is equal to the absolute value of five, which is equal to five. So in some cases, we might be asked to solve for x. So over here, we have the absolute value of two x plus one is equal to eight. And whenever we're solving for, or whenever we're finding the absolute value of a variable, there are two possibilities. Either the variable inside is negative from beforehand and we change the sign to make it positive, 
or it was already positive and we didn't have to change it at all. So for example, we can say that the module absolute value of eight is equal to eight where we don't change the sign or the absolute value of negative eight is equal to eight where we did have to change the sign. So that gives us two possibilities for our value of x. So we can have two x plus one can be equal to eight or two x plus one can be equal to negative eight. So now we just have to solve for both of these equations. So we take, move the one over, two x is equal to eight minus one, which is equal to seven. Two x is equal to seven. We can divide both sides by two to make x alone. Divide both sides by two, these two cross out, and we get x is equal to seven over two. Looking at this equation, we have two x plus one equals negative eight. Subtract one from both of the sides, we get two x equals to negative eight minus one, which is equal to negative nine. Then two x is equal to negative nine. Divide both sides by two to get x alone. We can cross out these two twos, two two. <laughs> x is equal to negative nine over two. So we get that x is either equal to seven over two or it is equal to negative nine over two. Let's look at another example. Over here we have the modulus of two x plus x is equal to five. Now the major difference here is that unlike in our previous equation, we're not taking the absolute value of the whole entire equation. So we're only taking the absolute value of two x and x is outside of the absolute value. So the first thing that we want to do here is to separate the absolute value from the rest of the equation. So to do that, we would take the absolute value of two x is equal to five minus x. So we just remove the x over to the other side by subtracting it from both sides. Now, as I said last time, when we're solving for x, when it's inside of the absolute value, there are two possibilities for our results. So one is where two x is equal to positive five minus x, or it can be equal to negative five minus x. Now we just need to solve both of these equations and we will have our two values of x. So two x is equal to five minus x. So bring over the x, so we get two x plus x is equal to three x which is equal to five, x is equal to five divided by three. Our second value for x will be, first you wanna open the bracket, so two x is equal to negative five, negative and negative makes positive, so plus x, you wanna bring over the x, so we get two x minus x is equal to negative five, so x is equal to negative Five. So our two possible values are x is equal to five over three, or x is equal to negative five. 